Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and this is my final vlog before Christmas. I can't believe today's Thursday. It is Thursday, I think it's Thursday. Does anybody else feel like that or just me? Um, so I'm gonna kind of get this one uploaded today and I'm feeling kind of okay. I'm like on track. We've got the grocery shopping in. I've done my wrapping. Um, there's probably a bit more to do. Carl's got some to do, but yeah, I feel pretty on track. So tomorrow, um, my group is on Christmas Eve, which is Saturday morning. So I'm going to do an extra hour in the morning and an extra hour at sort of 4.30 tomorrow. Um, and in between, it'll be that, you know, that prep the veg. Don't really do much of that. Um, prep the house. Um, I've made, and Naira's bedding's all washed and made up ready for her coming over on Christmas Eve. Um, I'll probably put some pictures on Instagram on Christmas Eve because we're going for afternoon tea at Spanish City and the beautiful dome and everything. And yeah, I feel like I can go, okay. Apart from, I still haven't even cut out my Christmas day dress, but I'm not sweating about it. Like I've got a wardrobe full of stuff and half of the guest room wardrobe full of stuff, but I would like, still like to make my Liberty Christmas dress. And I think I'm going to make an indigo out of it. I think it's like an easy breezy, fits fine, go for it. But if it doesn't get done, I'm not going to stress about it. That's what I've decided. So I'll come to what I'm wearing shortly. Um, you might remember I had a couple of pairs of pyjama bottoms to finish. Um, these ones are mine out of that um, duvet cover that I got. I made an error of the same one. So I actually made these ones as the Friday Pattern Company Swaro set trousers and I've got another pair of trousers here which I've also made out of that pattern because I cut them out. I think I've shown you these before and I probably said the same thing last week. I've just got them to hem and put the elastic in and I was going to start it today and then like literally like the last thing I was just about to do and then I thought there's no rush. You know, if you're going to do anything, cut your Christmas day dress out, don't worry about these. And um, so, yeah, they're on the, they're on the waiting pile and oops if we've not met before i'm alison i'm quite disorganized and um, yeah but welcome to my channel so like dotty so these are my pj bottoms but anira has got the same ones and um, just kind of thinking for for lounging around at christmas in my in my head we look really cute together She's 23. She probably doesn't want to look, you know, matchy outfits with a man. <laughs> well, she might not. I'm fairly sure she doesn't want to be matchy outfits with a man. It's one of those days today. It's a very odd day. I've had a very um, up and at it sort of morning. I think it was about seven o'clock and I just thought, oh, get out of bed and just start doing stuff. So I just started, what did I say? I can't even remember. I started doing stuff. I was trying to gauge what time is it okay to have the sewing machine start clattering and the overlocker going into gate? Because we are adjoined at two people. Um, and then about, I don't know what time, about 11 o'clock, I thought, yeah, I haven't even had any breakfast or anything. Carl had brought me up a cup of coffee that had gone cold. And I thought, ooh, does he call your bottles? There's a, there's a few of those left. They were one of the very few things I could taste when I had COVID, but here we are, like a month later nearly, and they're still there. Um, so I had a couple of them for breakfast this morning. It's Christmas, what can I say? Busy cola bottles for breakfast. Um, yeah, strategic plan, toast for lunch and a proper meal this evening. That's the plan. So I'm, I'm pleased to say they're pretty much done. And I've also finished off Carl's pyjama bottoms, which I'm kind of pretending he doesn't know what they are. But he knows they're in this black and white check fabric here. They were on the top there ready to be wrapped when he came in with my cup of coffee. So I'm pretty sure that he's not going to go, oh, that's a surprise on Christmas Day. Um, but yeah. So what else have I done? So behind me, I have finished my Ava blouse, which is this pattern here from the dressmaker's closet. And you've got two different, well, you've got short and long sleeves, but you've also got like the pussy ball blouse and the one that's the ties. So I did the one that's the ties, this one, but with long sleeves. And there is a cuff that you put on the wrist. But as this was more of my toile, I just kind of folded it over and put some elastic through the through the wrist. Should I grab it? I'll grab it. So I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out. I've not actually worn it yet. Um, but I wanted it to go under this poppy pinafore. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I'm trying to get a good picture of it for you. 
so I will be wearing that shortly. I've worn this pinafore way more than I thought I would. I do really like the brown one that I made and this one's quite heavy and chunky but I actually really like it. And then when I wore it last week when I saw Naira she went oh that's got really like 80s vibes ma'am which I think was a good thing. Not really sure. Um, but yeah. Um, so this is my first go at the Ava blouse. I'm really pleased with it because the sleeves fit. It fits. Yeah everything that I make that Jane produces. It just fits me so well. I'm really happy with it. Um, so I won't keep you in suspense any longer. I have got on my newest. We've well, got a sneaky peek there. Nell dress. Which is this pattern again by Jane. I'm getting a little bit addicted to it. I've got to say. I think I've made four now. So this is the short sleeve version. And as of yesterday. The raised neckline long sleeve um, extension pack was released and um, now I've done the original neckline on this but with the longer sleeves and I just adore these sleeves and um, they just go in so well and they fit me so well and I just love everything about about them now this is a chunky fabric I got really excited about it I hadn't seen it before and um, Oh, the name went into my head of what it is minky and loads of people went oh yeah it's for baby blankets well maybe i just have a life where i don't make stuff for babies or i don't really know people have had them you know whose kids have had them yet or something but i didn't know what it was called so i've got it in cream pink and blue i got it from fabworks and i got it with the intention of making the nell t-shirt and then jane uploaded yesterday or the day before a stretch boucle dress that I just fell in love with um, with a contrasting um, neckband and cuffs I was just so when I got this out to cut this was what I was doing at seven o'clock this morning I'd got two meters of it it's quite wide it was two pound fifty a meter and I just thought I wonder if there's enough so obviously on this dress it has a ruffle at the bottom and I I probably could have done the ruffle but it would have been pieced together and I just thought it would look messy and I really love like maxi maxi dresses but I was aware that this is cream so being too maxi probably wouldn't be the best thing. Now if you zoom in on my photos when I'm about to share it you will notice that although in my head it's finished I've not actually hemmed it up yet I need to go back on the machine and do that so I'm not about to go out in this and I do wonder how long it'll stay clean for but I don't care. I literally don't care because in my head I thought I'm going to make it and I'm so pleased with it. So I'll stand up and then I'll drop in a picture as well. So um, this is some um, fleece cotton jersey I think it is. Anyway I can't remember what, what it's called but it was from First for Fabrics and I've got a billy jumper in this and I just had some bits left. So I used that on the, the neckband and the cuffs. I, I did cut the cream for the neck and the cuffs and then I thought I really like the contrast of jeans and I, I remembered about this fabric I mean that neckline just lies so beautifully and um, there was a few people who, who actually said we're curious as to what this minky's gonna look like when you make it um, well it's lovely it's so soft I think the minute I sit on the sofa it'll be covered in dog hair and Carl will be sitting going oh that's so nice and um, like the snow queen in it and I went as I was making it I was thinking am I gonna wear this because I am so clumsy and sloppy that it'll probably have stuff down it like I will have to make like a bib or something for myself but I don't care I like it the fabric wasn't expensive and we're only here once so enjoy wearing what you want to wear is my philosophy so there we go um so yeah I am a brand ambassador for Jane at the dressmaker's closet I always like to be clear about that and um, I do now have an affiliate link um, for any patterns that you do buy from there so I will drop that into the description box um, but I haven't been paid to make this dress I just want to be clear about that I'm making it because I absolutely adore the pattern and um, yeah I can't get enough of, out of it and I'll be honest this week the black one the plain black one that I shared last week with the B on I think I was wearing it on last week's vlog I've worn it a lot this week and I went and got the very very thin fabric leggings and I got a vest from Marks and Spencer's that I have a um, thermal ones I, I wasn't keen on getting something long sleeves or t-shirt top so I think I got it's like a two-pack leggings 
and a two pack vest, I think. So I've been layering up with those, but they are so thin, they are like a second skin, but you don't overheat in them. So I've been wearing those with the black dress over. And then if it's been really chilly because we're trying to not put the heating on, I've just been putting a jumper over that. And I've kind of, I felt like I've lived in that all week. Um, so if you see me and I've got that on, yeah, I've got it on again. Don't care. Um, I just love it. So with this, the other option I've got with this, obviously I've got this jumper that matches, is to just pull that over. I think it's a Billy jumper. Um, so I could do that as, as well. Um, and of course, I think I shared with you, but I'm not sure, that I made a cropped Billy jumper. Um, just in plain black and that's working out brilliantly it was a bit of a twirl but it's it's just a complete fluke that where I decided to sort of finish it is actually where the waistband is on the indigo dresses that I've made or um, even my Dixie dress that similar sort of just under my bust not on my waist and that's where I've made it I've not put a band on it or anything um, and I've had a couple of people compliment me on my top and skirt um, when I wore that the um, green leopard print dress that I've had for a little while the indigo um, and I, I was like, oh, actually, it's a dress with a jumper over. Um, so that's working really well for layering up as, as well. Um, so, yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, I think I'll be doing this all day. And it's like bubble wrap. If one pop, if they pop in, you just pop them out again. It's a bit addictive, really. I'll be, I'll be like this today. Boop, 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 boop. Right. So what else is going on? Um... Well, obviously, I've got a dress to make. I need to run to B&M, not B&M, Home Bargains, because I need to get some licorice all sorts for Carl's dad. Did a debate in there yesterday. Did Naira get them? Did she not? Got home? No, she didn't. So just need to it back. It's like five minutes away. Um, Yeah, that's it really today. So I have got quite a bit of time. I'm just taking it in my stride. So I'm probably confident I can get my dress done. Not worried about it. Um, I do just want to say that a couple of really, really kind people and I had no, honestly, I was so like gobsmacked when they kind of asked, is it possible to get your address? Um, a couple of people have sent me things in the post. I've chatted to Suzanne this morning. I know she posted it on the 5th and it's gone completely AWOL with um, the delivery company. Um, and I know that... Um, somebody else has sent me something as well if you've sent me something and i've not commented on it i've not received it yet but i don't want you to stress about it because there's enough to stress about at christmas so as, as kind as it is and i know that it took time and possibly effort or it might not have you might have been like i've sent something to somebody and i put it in a box and tied it up whatever it is it was considerate and kind and hopefully it'll arrive and when it does i will share it even if that's after christmas um so i did receive some um fabric from minerva today which um has arrived so quick i didn't really expect it to um so this one i'm trying to remember how many meters i ordered of this it's a, a jersey like a t-shirt weight jersey um and i'm not sure what i'm gonna make i might make <laughs> Here's a shock. I might make another Nell dress, but with black, plain black ribbing on it. I'm not sure. I just liked it and I thought I'm going to get that and put something together. But it's not really on my immediate to-do list. It needs to go in the wash. Um, one of the ones that I would like to make, and I think I got enough of this to make a poppy pinafore, but it is thinner. Is a, I think this was shirting fabric and it's this pink check. And I'm thinking this would make a lovely poppy pinny for because I've got the pale pink minky um to make a t-shirt to go underneath it um and so to go with that I just got some pink pale pink lining um to line the bodice um actually under this I've got a cream like half slip that I made last year just because it there was a little bit of static but I just got some new snag tights so I don't know if it's the tights or the the fabric it doesn't feel staticky I've got to say um so I might have enough of this to make like a waist slip in it but if I don't I could just wear that underneath it because you will be able to see through this but I think it'll look really nice as a as a pinafore I think it'd be lovely I'm not used to working with um checks and plaids but um yeah I think it'd be really nice having said that I did write a list in my diary of pending 
garments that I want to make. And by pending, I don't mean like I want swimwear for my holidays next year. I mean like immediately already cut out ready. Like I've got the um, Friday Pattern Company Saturday set cut out. I've started it. That's going to be after Christmas. Now, as much as I wanted to get it made and shared, in reality, having COVID lost me 10 days of my Christmas build up and then Christmas has happened. So that that's the one that's been like, you know, I'm just going to kind of pick up and do as and when. And because we're actually away for a few days between Christmas and New Year. And I've got a Dixie dress in card waiting to be made. But if, when, when I kind of looked at my list, I've got like 12 pending things. I was a little bit like, ooh. Um, but I'm being very chilled. I'm not putting any pressure on myself. Things will, will happen when they happen. And the things are getting made because I want to make them and I want to wear them. Not because... I just want to produce things to show you guys because you wouldn't want me to do that and I don't want to do that anyway. Um, so I, like this morning, this was going to be a like quick and quick t-shirt. It was a quick dress, but because I wanted it to be. So I hope that's okay. I hope you're okay. Let me know, are you demented? Have you got your sprouts yet? Have you not? Are you, um, like, have you got everything made? I did a couple of quick things this morning. Um, I made like a zip up sort of wash bag thing for an iron some facial wipes and things like that. just the little bits that you can put together um but I hope you sorted it's Thursday Christmas is in a couple of days so fingers crossed you sorted I know for a lot of people you possibly break up work today or tomorrow so you've got things going on um yeah oh and my new machines have arrived for the sewing school I ordered four of the necky machines from all day I sold a couple of the brothers that I bought like August time um and they all arrived yesterday. They didn't all come together. It was really funny. Um, so I'm just road testing one of those out because I absolutely love the Necky brand, as you know. Um, so, yeah, that's me. Over and out. So I will drop in a picture where I said I would and I'll catch up with you soon. I won't see you before. I might see you on Instagram. So Merry Christmas. Have a fabulous one. Chin chin. Lots of um, refreshments and have a good time. Okay, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, just have a great time anyway. Bye!